They found L.W. Wright. Coming up next. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? If I haven't earned your subscription, hopefully today is the day that I will earn that subscription. All right, the Scene Vault podcast has found L.W. Wright. They have a four-minute clip out on YouTube, and they have a 36-minute episode, which features 11 minutes of an interview they found with Larry Wright, the man that went by L.W. Wright in that fateful, uh, fateful event in Talladega. If you're not familiar with the story, he's basically a driver that showed up out of nowhere, bought one of Cuckoo Marlin, which is Sterling Marlin's dad's old race cars, and he qualified for Talladega, made the race, and about 13 laps in, he caused several cautions, he got black flagged, and then he mysteriously disappeared. Well, you hear in this interview or in this episode that he actually went to the Nashville fairgrounds. So what people thought was he never paid his bills, he ripped off all these people, he took the NASCAR paycheck and left, but actually he had paid all of his money up until Nashville. So he was going to the Nashville race and he failed to qualify for the Nashville race. And well, that's when uh, the, he mysteriously disappears and when the legend begins. Uh, but we find out here that it, it actually wasn't at Talladega. It was in Nashville where he disappeared. So actually all of his Talladega bills were paid according to him in this clip. So this was super interesting. Uh, I'm just going to show just like a little bit of uh, what he looks like here and I will play uh, basically their intro to uh, the episode. But I definitely wanted to uh, make this story and hopefully this comes out before the uh, race at Talladega because I think this is uh, this is huge because they've been looking for this guy for like the longest time uh, so ho I'll, I'll play a small clip of the audio this is from the scene vault podcast uh, in case you didn't know what the, the scene is the, so the scene used to be this magazine back in the day uh, super big like before the internet before all that there was the scene magazine and they call it a magazine but it was actually a really tiny newspaper uh that was folded in half it was like half the size of a regular newspaper uh it was called the grand national scene and then it was called the winston cup scene and then i guess when when uh at some point they uh were no longer i think they went away with winston but uh it was like your your holy bible of of that and stock car racing magazine they were like your holy bibles of race car insider information, uh, some of the best journalism ever done in the sport of NASCAR. And uh, if you would just start us off by introducing yourself. My name is Larry Wright. I raced under the name of LW. I got off by myself that day and I said, Lord, I'm down here, but I'm gonna need some help. If you could find somebody that said that I owed them $30,000, you tell them I'll face them. I want to see who they are. And I want to know how it comes about. Right. So now, if that makes them stutter, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So yeah, that is what uh, L.W. Wright looks like, and the mystery is over. Uh, of course, they're going to release several more episodes, so I'm going to wait for all of them to come out before I make another video about this. But we're going to get the full story of L.W. Wright. Uh, spoiler alert, they're not going to talk about who he was before this. He said he's going to write a book or something about that, so I guess we'll have to wait for the book. Uh, but they've located L.W. Wright. We will hear about the Talladega and, I guess, Nashville incidents and how that came about. Uh, he, even, he even gets into uh, the Waylon Jennings, uh, T.G. Shepard uh, controversy. But, um, yeah, super. I was not expecting that this early Monday morning, but, man, this is... Uh, this is cool, so hopefully you check this out before the race comes on. And let me know who you think is going to win the race down below. If you got any comments, leave them down in the comment section as well. Uh, if you made it this far, feel free to subscribe. Do you think Denny Hamlin has the car to win this thing? Uh, will Kyle Larson uh, farewell on those older tires? Lots of crazy stuff going on. The track's going to change and everything. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you. And hopefully this comes out before the race starts. All right, thanks for your time. Peace.